Okay, so before we get to node inter interfaces, I want to talk about the special message commands that we have. We have these four different message commands. Message OK, message OK, cancel, message yes, no, message yes, no, cancel. So let's look at what they do. So message OK is simply going to give you a message with an OK button. If we look at this, reload, press output, there we go. The title of the message, my message to user, and it waits for the user to press OK. So my message to user, my message to user, and the title of the message right there, which has the second argument. So you press OK, that's all. That's all it does. Message OK cancel gives an output. And a way we can grab that output is by placing it inside a variable. So if I say variable set and I say user input, I'm just going to do a G here because this would be a, a global variable and finish up with that. And then if I say, if I do a note here, I'll put in my variable. Let's see what happens. So if I press output, the title and the message comes up. If I say OK, I get a 1. If I say cancel, I get a 0. So we can use that to let the user know that something is about to happen. If they want to continue to press OK, if, or if they want to cancel out that operation. And then we can use, for example, an if else state and ask if the user said OK. Then we continue with the script. If not, we cancel the script. So these would give me something like this. If I say OK, continue with script. And that's this is just an example. So and cancel script canceled. Of course, you wouldn't put a note in there. It's just continue with your script, your code, or not, or do something else if the user says cancel. Message yes, no works pretty much the same way. So if I use message yes, no, reload, output, message, yes or no, yes, continue with script, no, script cancelled. And finally we have message yes, no, or cancel. And message yes, no, or cancel will give you a minus one when cancelled, a one if yes, a zero if no. So we could say something like this, we know that minus one is cancel. So we can ask if the user input doesn't equal, not equal, okay, doesn't equal minus one, it's because the user said yes or no. So if user input, which means if it's one, we can run a script, let's say script A. If not, we can run script B. If the user message actually equals minus one, which equals cancel, then we can just cancel the script. And this, was get, this is going to give us the following result. If I press output and I say yes, run script A, output no, run script B, and if I press cancel, script cancelled. And I would get the same result if I say equal and then I just move everything down here and I'm pressing control shift to move this stuff around and and swap that stuff out so I'd get exactly the same result there yes script A no script B cancel script cancelled so these are the four and the messages that you can use to get information from the user now there's a, a different way to get information from the user with buttons and switches and that's node interfaces and we're going to see that in the next few videos.